At Ghana's Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, Marilyn Owusu addresses a group of students. Her goal is to inform them about the prospects of studying in the United States. Owusu, born and raised in Ghana, is a U.S. trained information systems professional. After she finished her studies in the United States, she returned home to start a business, which has been running for more than 20 years. She says her U.S. education was crucial to her success. Just by the nature of how their systems are shaped. So it empowers you to be able to take advantage of the systems in the U.S. to be able to become who you want to be. In 22 years, Owusu has helped more than a thousand Ghanaians pursue studies in the U.S. She consults for Education USA, a network of international student advising centers sponsored by the U.S. Department of State in more than 175 countries. Owusu says American universities use this network to enroll students from Ghana every year. All schools in the U.S. recognize Education USA. We are able to bring them to Ghana to be able to talk to all students. Um, we are able to assure them that we can coordinate programs for schools in the U.S. So they come and they are dependent on us to be able to give them good programs as to how they can relate to Ghanaian students. According to the U.S. Embassy in Ghana, in the past academic year, Ghanaian student enrollment in U.S. colleges and universities increased by nearly 32% and Ghana became the 14th largest sender of graduate students to the country. The introduction of free high school education in Ghana in 2017 has significantly increased the number of graduates, positioning Ghana as an attractive hub for American universities to target prospective students. To help accommodate the growing numbers, the U.S. Embassy has moved to open a new educational research center for students interested in studying in the U.S. The center, called the American Corner, serves as a hub for Northern Ghana to connect to the U.S. through American literature, media, and educational materials. We have databases that are paid for by the State Department. They are free of charge. We can give you access remotely, and then you can come in here to use it. There are books, and apart from the library, normal library services that we offer, we do programming all year round. The programs include educational counseling, cultural events, and entrepreneurship training. The embassy says these programs and activities are part of the U.S. strategies to foster mutual understanding and strengthen its relationships with Ghana. We have a really wonderful uh, relationship that's continuing across all sectors, and at the heart of that is the people to people. So when we talk about our exchanges, we're not just exchanging people going to the U.S. and coming back here. It's about ideas and concepts and shared experiences. There are about 600 American corners and similar venues worldwide providing programs and events that aim to enhance cultural, educational, and professional exchanges with the United States. Sana Anutod, VOA News, Kumasi, Ghana.